When was the last time a video game really made you just sit back and say, Wow. There's something special about Mario Galaxy, especially if you played it when you were young, and that thing is, a lot of it has stuck with you. The levels, the bosses, the gameplay, the story, and of course, the music. It's all incredibly well done, memorable, and makes for a fantastic second, third, or even fourth playthrough. Whether you're playing as Mario, or collecting the star bits for a friend or sibling with the very engaging player 2 option as I did growing up, you're still gonna have a good time. The game really is a platforming masterpiece from start to finish, with each level adding more and more and more to the experience. And as good as the levels are, and as long as I could talk about them, the music is some of the best, if not the best, Nintendo has ever made. I mean just listen. The game opens with such a fun, optimistic tone as this is a celebration of good times and everyone is happy at this festival. And on the other hand, later in the game, beating Bowser has never felt more important. The music sets the mood and atmosphere so well for every situation you are in, it's insane. Are you talking to Captain Toad? BAM! The Captain Toad song starts bopping. What? You're about to be grabbing a grand star? BAM! Maybe you're reading Rosalina's storybook. <laughs> if this were any other game, I'd say the music carries the experience, but somehow the levels do keep up. There are so many fun ideas and so many layers to dive into in the gameplay. One second you're shooting yourself through a star cannon or dragging yourself along with the blue pulley stars, and then before you know it, you're blowing up piles of garbage for a robot to get a secret hidden star you had no idea existed. The prankster comments offer you the opportunity to go back to the already super well done levels to experience them again with some sort of challenging twist. And one thing the game deserves so much praise for is the fact that it utilizes the use of motion controls in a nearly entire entirely positive way. One of my favorite things about this game is the observatory, the game's main hub world, because it offers you a well done, steady progression in more ways than one. Of course it has the classic Mario level unlocking system you're used to. You get stars in the various levels throughout the game, and this gives you the progression to unlock more levels, but the thing about the observatory that sticks out to me the most is how they put that extra visual and audible effort in. The more stars you get, the more places come to life. Darkened portions of the hub world illuminate, new power ups are unlocked. You get to watch the Toads build their ship. On the audio side, the music evolves from a toned down magical tune all the way to a full on orchestrated performance. But most importantly, you get to go through the emotional roller coaster that is Rosalina's storybook. Mario Galaxy is a perfect blend of level design, power ups, music, and gameplay that is surprisingly better through the use of motion controls and is one of those games that everyone just remembers so well because it's more than a game, it's an experience. It's one of those games that brings you back to simpler times. It's one of those games through its beautiful score can really just hit a nerve. It's one of those games that really just makes you say, wow. Thank you so much for watching today and let me know what Mario Galaxy means to you in the comments. To me, it's a really nostalgic game that brings me back to the Google days. But that's enough for me. Thanks for watching. I've been Multiple Muffins. Peace.